I'm on a new level. Everything I touch turn to gold. Ain't I something special? This one for my haters, I'm a motivator. I make them niggas wanna do better. I want too much, I can never sell it. Settle for less, nigga, I can never. If she did better, I probably would've kept her. But oh boy, I found something better. And she go do me better. I had a caught up with a day. Tuesday night fight, Saturday night fight. Lamb Fo, y'all already know me. Y'all already know. Oh. Hey, so for the people who don't know, Tell them, tell them a little bit about yourself, man. How, 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 how you get started with uh, Land Four Fights? Um, man, honestly, how I started with the fights, um, someone was brought to me, uh, Doom was brought to me by a trainer of mine, and uh, we started talking. I like to organize fight scene because I was in the streets doing my thing and like fighting and shit, you know what I'm saying? So what I started to understand is I like the organization of it. During COVID, Drew and I had a gym together and we had to close the gym. And then when we closed the gym, what happened was I needed to find ways to pay the rent to the gym. And so we started throwing these fights at the yard. It was just some underground fights just to pay rent. It wasn't nothing else. But we started to see the following and the, the stage that we were giving these young men and women. And then I started to understand and dissect the fight situation and organization of it and so from now I just start making steps from that and people probably follow us through Tuesday night fights and we do Saturday night fights once a year I do one big fight every quarter I do a, a, a sanction fight so our next fight is sep September 9th in Fort Worth it's called the rivalry it's gonna be MMA um, Fort Worth against Dallas but back to the story um, in general, what we started to do was find out how we can create some revenue from this. It takes a while, though. You know, we started putting money into it, started to grow it, and now people seeing what they see from just doing the homework, crossing our T's, dotting our I's, late nights, early mornings, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that but up, it's the man. hustle in us, though. Huh? Yeah. That was so, so like, uh, what you love the most about this? I know, of course, you know, revenue and money flowing. How you feel it really about ain't no money right now. All, we ain't paying ourselves. What you see is get money, put money back in. Yeah. That's the hustle. We've been doing that for three years. Just that right there. And we dedicate that to ourselves. We other, we got other shit on the outside of here. But in order to grow what we're growing, that's, that's how we made a deal and do that. So that's why y'all see us doing this like that. Because we take the money and put it right back into the system. Marketing, do ring, all kind of shit. Mark, um, um, understanding, grabbing a coach, learning the business. This, this is what people don't see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's what that is. That's what's up, man. Uh, what you do outside of this? What was you doing before you started doing this? Uh, so my wife and I, we got a uh, company called Torres Hazley. And it's an umbrella company. I got a yoga studio. Um, we do corporate wellness. I send trainers and yoga instructors, Zoom instructors to corporate companies. And we work with their um, insurance company and deal with a 16-point program. So the companies pay me in order to put the trainer, health and wellness, self-care. I got a yoga, yoga studio downtown Dallas in the farmer's market. Um, we invest into like apartments, uh, multifamily. So I do a lot. I'm from East Dallas, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people know what time it is. 415 East Dallas, shout okay, out. Okay. Yeah, I'm grown now. Yeah. I don't gang bang no more. Yeah. I used to be a thumb, uh, I used to be a, 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 a token, a token in the streets before I went to TDC. Okay, that's a whole nother story. Yeah, 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 we gotta get into that one day. One day we we'll gonna get into that. Yeah, hey, what's up, man? Uh, how you feel about, you know, uh, Sean Porter came through twice. He came through yesterday and today and showed a little love, man. How, man, how you feel about this? I, I feel special because for him to recognize our product and for sport cons to recognize our product, that let me know we on the right track. Sometimes it get hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. It gets stressful putting it together, putting the money back in, not paying yourself. But when other people see your product just as yourself, um, BNFA, uh, 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 whole lot of woods, like that, 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 y'all
Y'all don't understand how much that I'm appreciative of that shit, man. And so that let me know one day you gonna see us in Dickies Arena, American Airlines. Trust me, I'm on it. And so I'm doing it all for us because the underground fight scene, it's a ladder and we growing. And I'm always gonna be appreciative to the underground fight scene for giving us a chance and welcome us with arms open, not even hating. That's a whole nother subject in itself. Damn. We gotta jump into that alone, all right? Damn. So Damn. That's, that's that's basically how I see that, man. I'm, I'm so appreciative, I'm so grateful. I'm mindful of what's happening. So that's how I, I that's how we, I feel about it. Right on. Do you think in the future, the underground can be another lane, you know, such as the amateurs for uh, boxers to take? I don't think it's in the future. I think it's now. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't even in the future. It's right. here right now. Right on. So, you know, you if you're a boxer and you're trying to come up, go to that underground scene first because that's going to give you the lights, the cameras, the action. And so when you get to amateurs, you know, understand what's happening. Yeah. Right? You ain't, you're not like stage fright. That's the whole benefit of underground fight scene. And then we getting these boys off the street from the shooting and everything like that, because that's how we grew up. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So now we can give them a platform where ain't no, put the gun down, put the gloves up, fight like a man. Yes, sir. Let's talk it out. If we got beef, talk it out, man. Don't take it to the street. Now you see like in Fort Worth, they killing kids and shit. That was, that's against the rules. Yeah. I don't understand. So I'm really frustrated about that, but I like how all of us come together and talk about it to put the gun down, pick the gloves up, you know, do some yoga. Yeah, yeah. Breathe. <laughs> Back. Trust me. That, that was up, man. Y'all heard of her face. A day Hazley. A day Hazley. Shot A without Hazley. the S. You know what I'm saying? Clack them heels together, get them dollar bills, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> already, man. Appreciate the time, All bro. Right, man. Keep Thank doing you. Hey, man, subscribe to the business, man. He is the business, man. Oh,